Hi kids, my name is Nicole Miyuki and this is Let's Make Art and you are here today to paint with us. We are making our galaxy. Oh. Oh, really exciting. Grab out your watercolors. Before we do that, actually, can I introduce Keenan? So you are here painting with Keenan and I. This is the camera guy. Hello, guy. how are you? Thank you for coming. <laughs> so you will hear his voice in the back. Now. Grab out your watercolors like I was saying. I would have three different colors. Now if you have our box, I'm gonna show you the specific colors that we're using, but if you don't, grab a yellow, a pink or purplish color, this is orchid, and then a blue. Now, if you wanna follow along, and you can do these swatches like I am, what we're actually gonna do for this project is I'm gonna show you a magic trick, and we're gonna mix three more colors. So, to do that, what we're gonna do is, you can see I have my palette out, and I have the three colors on my palette. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, and I'm gonna mix this pur purpley color and this yellow. So when we do that, can you see the palette in the shot? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to make the color in between. So it makes this reddish orange color. So that's one color. Now we're going to keep going around our circle and we're going to mix these two colors together. So we're going to mix orchid and azure blue. Do you know what we're going to get, Keenan? Orchid and azure blue? <laughs> Mixing? Yeah. Purple. Purple. It's like a purplish blue. Purplish blue. Nailed it. <laughs> so that's the next color. Then we're going to do these in betweens. So yellow and blue make green. Yes. So I'm going to mix those two. And you'll notice that when I'm using our watercolors, you only need a few drops. So you don't need very much. I'm a paint mix addition. <laughs> New word. <laughs> New word. <laughs> So now you will see that we made three more colors. So you have six colors that we are going to be using today. Now, when you are ready, grab out your watercolor paper. I am using the bigger size paper and I'm gonna use it horizontal. Horizontal means it's more across than this is vertical. So I wanna do that because as you'll see, we're gonna create this whole big universe. Now, the first step is to do our motto. I remembered it. Nice. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Woo. OK, now we're ready. We're in the zone. We're going to get started. You will have your brush and you will have your cup of water. Now, I want you to start with your sun. So the sun is the center of your universe, your galaxy, and it's the biggest one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my yellow, and I'm gonna dip into my water, I'm gonna hit off to the side, and you're gonna pick up a little bit of your yellow. Now, if you want to make your sun in the middle, you can, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use our imagination, and we like to use our imagination here because it. It's using your brain to think of other things, and it's a beautiful, creative tool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw your sun like a half curve. So I'm gonna go in the left corner over here, and I'm gonna start up at top, and I'm gonna paint a curve and come all the way down. So what's happening is we're using our imagination, if you're looking at this one, to see our sun is this big. Can you see all that in the yep. shot? Yep, so that's what we are drawing. We're imagining that our sun is just sitting right there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint it in. So I'm gonna go and get a little bit more watercolor and you're gonna paint away. There's no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just gonna add some color to it and grab a little bit more water. Now, a cool trick that I wanna show you is we made red, so I wanna, is this in the shot? Yes. Yes? When mm -hmm. I do that? Okay. Yep. So you'll see that we made this reddish orange color. So the sun has some texture to it. So what if we pick up a little bit of this color, the orange is red, and what you're going to do is you can have fun with this. You can paint directly on here 
and just add a new color to it. Ooh. You can add some dots to it. You can kind of play around with it. It's just kind of giving it a little bit of texture. Now, the cool thing is that once that's on there, if I want it to spread around, I just used water. So dip your brush into your cup, swirl it around a little bit, and watch. If we swipe with just water, it'll blend it on through. Wow. Yeah. So it creates this look where it feels round. Because our sun is round, it's not a flat circle. So that's how you can do that. So you're adding some texture to it. Now that you have your sun, what we're gonna do is we're going to paint our planets. Now, before you do this, I want you to remember that this is your painting. This is your time to use your imagination. So if there are different shapes you wanna do, if there are different colors that you wanna do than me, I 100% want you to do that. So I just want you to remember that. Okay, what we're gonna do is you have your six colors already made. You can pick whatever color you like. I'm gonna start with, let's do this guy. So I'm gonna start with my orange actually, and I'm gonna pick that up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick anywhere in this whole big canvas and you're gonna draw a circle. So you're gonna draw a curve. If you haven't drawn a circle before, draw a curve, and then just continue that curve around. So you're gonna do that. Then what I wanna show you is a trick a similar one that we did here. So I'm gonna color this all in. And if it gets a little bit light, what you do is you dip back in and you get more watercolor. So I'm gonna mix that all in. But then what I wanna do is one of the fun techniques is I'm gonna pick up another color. So I wanna make sure that this is wet. So I'm gonna actually add some more water to this. And then I'm gonna pick a different color. So I have orange right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up my orchid, pick it up on your brush, and you're just going to let it do its thing. Can you see how it's exploding? Boom. Boom. So because there's water on it and it's wet, it's sprinkling out and exploding and making these beautiful blooms. Right now it kind of looks like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the pepperonis. Yeah, big fan of pepperoni pizza. So you can keep doing that. You can add a little bit more color. Maybe you want some yellow explosions. Mm. That's like the peppers. Yeah, the peppers. <laughs> Sometimes we don't like peppers on our pizza, though. That's fair. But veggies are good for you. Veggies are so good for you, and they're <laughs> yummy on they're pizza. They're yummy. So. <laughs> so you can add some other veggies to your pizza. So that is a really fun technique that I love. So that's how we were able to get these explosions right here. So that technique is adding colored dots. Now, another technique that I wanna show you is, let's grab another color. So we made one planet, let's make another one. So you're gonna swish your brush inside. So whenever you switch to another color, make sure to dip inside your water, swish it around, and then hit it off to the side. So let's move around a little bit. Let's maybe use this blue color, this darker blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make another circle, paint that in, make it a little bit darker. So if you have a color and you wanna make it darker, you pick up more color and you paint back over it. Make it a little bit darker. Now, so this technique is going to be called water dots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip back in, swish my brush around, and you're just gonna have water on your brush. Whoa, that was a big one. I missed it. Oh, <laughs> it's getting sweet. So we're adding just water droplets to it. <sighs> Boom. And it doesn't go outside the paint. Yes, that's the really cool thing is that, I love that Keenan said that, is that the color kind of creates a home for it. And so it won't go outside of it. So it adds a different effect. So can you see it's a lighter color? I love this technique. So that's just using water. Now, the, we just got so many fun magic tricks that we can do together. We're gonna keep going. Let's do one more technique. So I'm gonna swish my brush around, change my color. Let's grab green. 
Now I'm going to do the same thing. Make one more planet. Make a circle. And this time what we're going to do is swish your brush around. We're going to switch colors again. So maybe for this one I'm going to pick up some of the blue. But what we're going to do is we're going to create some lines. So on this one we just added water drops. This one you're just going to paint with your other color and just draw stripes on it. Oh, I like that. So it has this cool movement that you're created. And what we're doing is we're just adding texture to our planets. We're making it come alive. So you can do that again if you want to add another color. Maybe you want to add a darker blue. You add some stripes on the side. Ooh, that looks cool. Ooh, that's cool. So the colors, the watercolors, kind of do their own thing. And that is such a magical tool. And that's the beautiful thing about using watercolors is that it kind of has its mind of its own. Yeah. I think that's a cool thing. You are the artist and you're going to let your painting do its thing. So you could add a few more if you want to add a few more planets. Let's see, maybe you'll make some smaller. Maybe make a smaller one. Maybe I'll do the water technique. Oh, that was a big one. Whoa. That's going to turn out really cool because it has the really thick purple in the middle. Yeah, right there. Ooh, yes. I'm going to leave that one then. Okay, and then let's do a really small one. Keenan, do you have a favorite planet in our solar system? No, I do not. You don't? I don't have a favorite planet. So, if Wait, you... Mars. That's a good one. So Mars is like a little bit reddish orange color. So if you have our zine, what I want to show you is, can they see that? Which page? Both of them. Yes. Left one. Correct. Okay. <laughs> is if you flip to, let's see, we're on page 12. You will see that there is a guide that shows our entire solar system. So our solar system has eight major planets. And so you can see that they're all different colors. So if you want, maybe you pick a planet and you think, okay, I want to paint, Keenan said he wants to paint Mars. So it has this kind of orangey brown texture to it. So you can do that. There are also some really fun facts about different planets. Like, yeah, did you know those. Mars has the largest volcano and it's called Olympus Mons. I don't know how big it is, but it's the biggest one. So there's some fun facts about the planet here. And also, I would love for you to fill this out. This is where you can make your own planet. You can name it. You can say what it looks like, what you'll find on your planet. You can tell us a story, Keenan. If you, if you had a planet, yes. what would it be called? Okay. And what would be on it? Ooh, a planet name? I've never thought of a planet name. Now's the perfect time. Now's the perfect time. Okay, my planet's going to be... I'm going to start with a color. Maybe the name will come to me with a color okay. after I describe it a little bit. I like the idea of having a very green planet. Okay. Like this one? Yeah, like that one. Okay. Yeah, not as much water. Okay. Even though it's important. Maybe it has underground rivers. So it does have as much water, but it's a much, a much stronger earth mm. ground versus how our earth has a lot of water. Mm, mm, mm. But there's going to be a lot of living creatures, okay? A lot of animals, a lot of nice animals. Big things that you can, like, snuggle next to. Like giant <laughs> lions that don't eat you. Those are great. Thank you. I don't know what my planet's called yet. You don't know yet? Okay, no. it'll come to you. It'll that's come. what I was I'll waiting for. I'll okay. figure it out. I'll figure it out. Okay. So that's what we want you to do is you... Think of your own planet as you're painting them. You get to use your imagination and your creative mind to... Make up something. Kratos. Oh, I feel like that's a that's not one of in our planet, but I feel like I've Nope. Nope. Okay. That's My a great name. Planet name, thank you. That's a great name. Okay. Keenan's planet name is Kratos. So you can do that on your own. Now, what you are going to do is you're going to let all your planets dry. And maybe this is the perfect time to grab out your zine and do that activity sheet while it's drying. Or you can also get a snack. I like snacks. You didn't like snacks, breaks. So I am going to let that dry. Now what I want to show you is we are going to make one more color actually. So you saw that we made six colors in the beginning. Well, 
you will see that on here is that there's this really pretty black, it's kind of like a blackish blue. It has a little bit of texture to it because the sky, when you look up at the night sky, it's not one solid color. But what we're gonna do is we're going to mix our colors to make black. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go back to my palette and I'm, I'm actually gonna do it in the center of this. And so you're gonna take your three colors and do a few drops of blue, yellow, and orchid. I'm gonna clean my brush because I'm gonna switch my colors up. And then you are going to mix them all together like that. And then maybe we'll paint in the center. Dang. So now we have our black that we can use for our night sky. Now, if you painted this and you didn't get this exact color, I want you to know that there is no right or wrong. So if you want to, you can kind of become a scientist and maybe you think, okay, what if I add one more drop of purple? What will that color create? That is the way to learn and to paint is to see what happens because you can't make a mistake. Nope. There, there are opportunities for you to experiment and try other things especially if it's your planet that you're creating. Right. You can't make mistakes if you know exactly what you want. No, there's no mistakes. Yeah. So you have your color. Now I am, ooh, that one kind of, ooh, how did it sound still mine? moving? Do you see it moving? Nice. It's moving and grooving. That planet's alive. Yeah, it is. <laughs> ooh, what if the whole planet was just liquidy, like a giant bubble? And instead of walking, you swam everywhere. Whoa. I, I like would love that, that idea. I would love that. <laughs> okay. Now what you are going to do is you are going to paint your night sky with your black color. So to do that, I am going to swish my brush around. And we're going to actually get a lot of color on this brush. So to be gentle with your brush is I'm not jabbing into it. I'm kind of laying it off to the side. Think of it like you're sweeping the floor. You're sweeping and picking up the color. Do you like that analogy? Mm -hmm. It's a good analogy, but no one likes to sweep. But that's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. Yes, you are. <laughs> so you're sweeping up the color, and then you're going to paint across. Now, if you have a table that maybe you can't get dirty, let's... Get a blank piece of paper, and you're gonna color on top of it. Or you could take the lid off of your box. Oh yeah, do you have that? I mean, I could cut a box lid off right now. Okay. So we're going to sweep and paint. Now, when you get to your planets or your sun, what you can do is you can go a little bit slower and just paint up close to it. Now. If you get a little bit of color on top of it, I love that. Again, that's not a mistake. We're just being an artist and we're painting our creation. Yeah, that's lovely. So you're gonna go around it. I go a little bit slower when I get closer to it. Now, I wanna show you is what happened is that my, I didn't wait long enough, which is okay, but you will see that my planet kind of, again, had its own mind and it, What's the word I'm looking for? Spread ah. into my night sky. But I, I think that looks really cool. So we're gonna let it keep doing its thing. Again, it's not a mistake. It's an opportunity to make something new. So we're gonna keep painting. Now, when you're looking at this, if you think, wait, my sky isn't that dark. I want it to be a little bit darker. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just add a little bit more color to our concoction, to our black concoction. And if you want it to be a darker color, what I wanna show you is just use less water. So you'll see I am sweeping the floor of this, <laughs> of this palette and I'm not getting as much water. So can you see how it's a darker color oh, yeah. than what I had before? So that's the way that you are the magician and you are the artist and you can make it darker. So think water will make it lighter like this, if you add some water. So if I dip it in and spread that around, 
Can you see how the water made it lighter? Then, if you want to go back and make it darker, you just don't have as much water. And one other thing that I want to show you as you're painting your night sky is if you feel like, hey, I want some, I want some blue in my night sky. Pick up the blue watercolor and just paint it in. You can paint it over your black, you can add a little bit of texture. Maybe you pick up your black again and paint over it. Maybe this is where, this is the water planet that Keenan was talking about and needed to have some water around it. So that's why it's a little bit more blue in that sky, in that part of it. Yes. You can show them that idea. Okay, Keenan's idea is if you have our box, ask an adult to help you and cut it out. Is this the bottom? That's the bottom. This is great. So this is our box, and what we're going to do is that's going to be our placemat. That's genius. Thank you. Look at that. Now I won't get the table dirty. Nice. Thank you. Okay, we're going to keep going, so I'm going to keep painting my night sky. Whoa, that looks so cool. Looks like it is... <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> Looks like it has a mohawk. It has a mohawk? <laughs> We're calling it hawk from now on. <laughs> Deal. That plane is hawk. Okay, so I'm adding more paint. Now, I kind of ran out, so I'm going to make a little bit more. That's the cool thing about it, is you can always make a little bit more. Mix my concoction up. Oh! That kind of exploded, too. And this has a little bit more tinted green. So that's the cool thing is each time you make it, you might get a different color. And it adds more personality to your painting. So it's a really cool thing. Man, that is cool. Wow, that one is loving the night sky. It's just blending into it. Looks like this galaxy has a lot of planet issues <laughs> that they need to clean up. But okay. that's part of the job. That is. And your galaxy. And it's your painting. Exactly. And See? it makes it lovely <laughs> and unique. Okay. Now, that is still wet. So I am going to let that dry. Let me make sure my steps. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do now is this is actually going to be a snack break and I want my night sky to be completely dry because what we're going to do is we're going to use a gold pen on top of it to add the beautiful details of it. So we're going to do that in a second. So I would pause, go take a quick break, and then meet us back here in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Break. Okay, so now we are back from our snack break. Our tummy's a little full now, and we are ready to use our gold gel pen. So if you have our box, grab this gold jelly roll. Now, if you don't have this, you can use actually any color. You don't have to have the specific tool, but what we're gonna do is we're going to add some stars. When you look up at the night sky, your galaxy is gonna have all these different stars. So you can draw stars a few different ways that I wanna show you. One of my favorite techniques is drawing a plus sign, like Keenan had called it. You're gonna draw a plus sign, can you see that? Yeah, it's kinda um, light. It's a little light, but that's okay. Kay. You can see it on the side cam. Okay, so you're gonna draw a plus sign, and then you're gonna draw an X over the center of it. That is a little light. If your pel gel pen doesn't work, kinda draw some swirls on a scratch paper, and then it'll come back to life. So draw a plus sign and then an X, and then maybe you add some dots to it. So that's one way I like to draw a star. Or you can draw a five-pointed star, which is where an, a technique that I want to show you is that you're going to start from the bottom, and you're going to draw an A without the cross of it, the A, and then you're going to start from here and go diagonal up. Draw a horizontal line, which is coming straight across the page. And then you're going to connect it, because we got to start it and finish it. 
and go like that. So that's how you get a five-pointed star. Now, maybe that star is a shooting star. Ooh. So maybe add some lines to it. Now, in your night sky, stars are going to be all different sizes. So you add some more in different spots of your painting. You can also just draw dots. Because when you look up at the stars, you see a whole bunch of them, and some of them just look like little dots. Maybe you draw, if you have a favorite constellation, constellation is when the stars come together to create something like the Big Dipper. You can draw that in your night sky. Do you have a favorite constellation? I, I like the Little Dipper. Uh, <laughs> there's one called the Seven Sisters. Oh, yeah. And it's a cluster of stars. It looks like a, almost like a star tornado. Oh. And I used to play this game as a kid. I don't remember what it's called, but there was a guy in there named Sir Cyclone, so I renamed it Sir Cyclone. You're the, the constellation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's your own? Yeah. I love it. NASA didn't like it. They didn't approve. Yeah, they didn't approve. It's okay. This is your own world. Yeah. You can make it up yourself. So you're going to add any more that you want. You can fill up your whole night sky. Then... Did you know that some planets have rings on them? In our galaxy that we are a part of, so if you flip again, we are a part of the Milky Way, so you will see that's, our, that's the galaxy. This is our solar system. So in our solar system, we have Earth, which is where we are. One of the eight planets is Saturn, and so Saturn has seven rings. Now, your planet can have five. It can have 10, it can have one. But what if you take one of your plants that you draw and you're gonna draw a ring around it? So remember how I told you to use your imagination when you are creating and drawing with us. What we're gonna do is we're going to think about, think if you have a, you're, you're your planet, you're gonna have like a big hula hoop around you. Now, if you have that, you don't see the full hula hoop. You just see what's in front of you, right? You don't see what's in back. So that's what we're gonna do is think of this planet has a big hula hoop around it. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna draw the back of it, we're just gonna draw the front of it. So start from one side of it, and I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna draw a curve out, and then I'm gonna draw the curve around, and then come back and touch my planet. So I'm pretending that the hula hoop is continuing, but I'm not drawing it right here. So it's behind it. Did that make sense? Totally. Okay, cool. That was great. So it has this big hula hoop. So now I want to draw a few more because my planet has, let's see, it has three rings. Oh, nice. So you're going to add a few more. Then if you want, you can bring your planets to life even more. So maybe this one that has a fun mohawk, maybe we're going to go with it. And I'm going to outline my planet and we're gonna draw a mohawk on him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> maybe you draw a face on your planet, maybe you outline, if you have these really fun explosions that you drew, maybe you kind of outline those, kind of see what you get. Ooh, I like that. That could be something fun. Now, we got this one, which looks like a troll. It totally looks like a troll. <laughs> So you can go with that, or if you think, oh, I don't really know if I like that, what if you use your imagination and we make something out of it? So what were you saying it looks like? You're saying a sunspot. What, I just thought of a new one. Okay, what do you see? A space storm. Oh, how would I draw that? Like I a cyclone? no idea. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this is cool. So I'm drawing kind of swirls. Ooh, that's fun. That is I don't know if that's awesome. what you're imagining. It is now. Okay, cool. <laughs> so this is how you have fun with whatever your painting turned out to be. So maybe I'm gonna draw, outline this. I really like how this blended in, so I'm gonna kind of outline that and just give it some fun character. Yeah, that's a cool planet. Yeah. It looks like a marble. Oh, it totally does. Now this one, this was the one that we had draw, drawn our lines on. 
what I want to do is I want to draw those lines back in. So I'm just drawing, connecting from one side to the other. Nice. Yes. Okay. Then a few more steps and then we're done. Your planets are orbiting around the sun. So orbiting means that it is actually on this it's actually on an invisible hula hoop too. Awesome. Around the sun. So what you can do is that's what these lines are. So you can draw it as if they are circling around your sun. So that means you're gonna follow this same similar shape of a curve and draw it as if it's echoing out from it. So what I'm gonna do is you're gonna start from the side, maybe move a little bit up from your sun, and you're gonna draw a curve. Now, if it touches the planet, I'm gonna go behind it, so it's a similar thing, so I'm gonna touch it, I'm not gonna draw my planet, I'm gonna keep going, and then once I hit the night sky, I'm gonna pick it back up. So it's not draw it, keep going, and then once it hits the sky, I'm gonna pick it back up again. So that way it looks like the planets are in front of it. Cool. So do the same thing, so what we're gonna- good idea. <laughs> Adds. come up with this idea? Whose idea was this? Mother Earth. <laughs> Mother Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Keep coming around, so I'm going to add a few more. So those are my orbit lines. Now the last step is your sun is bright and beautiful and it gives off so much cool light. I want to add some sun rays to it. So. What you can do is you can either add some sun rays, like you might see in, the, in, the, in a painting, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna think of, my imagination thinks of it as the warmth is kind of going like this. So I'm gonna draw that, because that's what my imagination sees. So I'm gonna draw these curves that go up and down around my sun. Maybe I wanna draw one more. Cool. So it kinda has these cool waves to it. Nice. Hmm. Then I think we're done. So this is, I wanted to show you all these different ways that you can make it your own. And now looking at this, I want to show you that this is proof that everything is different. All of these have different colors. They have different textures to it. Some are bigger, some are smaller. This is your time to play. So I hope you had so much fun. This was such this was such a great project. Yes, it was. There's so many fun new techniques that you learned. You are creative and you are an artist. And if you are not a part of our Facebook group, go grab an adult and say, hey, can you take a picture of me? I want to share this with Let's Make Art. I want to share this with Nicole and Keenan. So grab that or grab, take a picture of your finished project. Share it with us. Our Facebook group is called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. And always remember that you are kind, great, Kind is part of them. Brave, kind, and creative. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you next time to paint with us. Bye, guys.